I love the idea of a cultural barometer when it, it zooms off in one direction and, uh, you know, there's dogs and uh, mobile phones and uh, guitars and stuff like that. And in the other direction, it's much more kind of straight-laced and uh, this house is £500 a week, um, minimalist, chic, and here's my Audi TT. My name is Roy Fulbrook. I live on the very border of Northwest One and Northwest Five. Uh, Northwest Five is Kentish Town. Northwest One is Camden Town. It's about two miles from the West End. It's just north of the West End, and about a mile from Hampstead Heath. I've lived here for about ten years, and um, I live at the intersection of the of the two tube lines of the Northern Line. They split up at Camden Town and then they go, one goes off to the left to Chalk Farm and one goes off to the right, which is Kentish Town. And I live in the triangular bit where they all branch off. When London was quite small, anything that went out of London went through this bit. The A41 um, comes into London, which is the old stagecoach route. There's a, it's a straight road that runs from the West End up to Camden and then up to Hampstead which was a village. So 200 years ago, this was just all fields. And in fact, the River Fleet runs exactly underneath this building and empties out in the city of London. The canal is an eighth of a mile up the road, Camden Lock. They were just about to make another canal. They made the bridge and then the railways came in. So just literally across the road is a place called the Roundhouse, which was a train turntable for the first trains. So it kind of all, it all happened here. I live here with my with my wife. She's got her own flat though, actually, that her brother lives in, in Crouch End. I live here with um, with her and my two cats. Elvis, Ethel. Well, I'm actually registered disabled. I've got um, acute arthritis. I used to be um, the drummer in a band. I used to um, race motorcycles. Yeah, I did a lot of stuff, but when I got ill, I had to think of something else to do that was um, a bit more cerebral than physical. I mean, I was quite a physical bloke. So I got into computers and uh, music technology. I built a website for a record company, and I take all the photographs for that company. I do bits and pieces here and there, keep my friends' websites updated. I recently realised I was doing too much in the house and I need sunshine to work on my psoriasis because I've got psoriasis arthritis, that's the form of arthritis that I've got. So I bought a kite, a big kite, that, uh, so I try and get up, at the, up on the heath and fly that when the, when the weather's nice. I am a fanatical West Ham supporter for my sins. And whose shirt is it? Paolo Canio. My wife is a big West Ham fan and uh, she goes to the games with me all my family support them and it's in a way it's a kind of um, a way of keeping in touch with your roots you know I'm from that area and it gives me a good excuse to go back there my mum and dad still live in the East End uh, the system I used to call them the devices <laughs> um, but when I got some instructions for them they were called the barometers on the on the top of the instructions so I've called them the barometers ever since. It seems to go in phases. Confirm OK by pressing left selection key. There was a week when it was just, it seemed to be nothing but cars. Another time it would be houses for sale. There are computers which you know, I'm quite interested in anyway, so they usually catch my attention. When the wind's blowing in a certain direction, you do notice a certain type of advert. So you've got Hampstead is in that direction, then over there you've got Primrose Hill where all the movie stars live. There'll be, you know, Audi TTs, BMWs, uh, million pound flats. If the if the wind is blowing as it is now, which is blowing it's blowing quite hard, the, the weather vane is spinning um, and is pointing um, in that direction, which is more towards Holloway, Finsbury Park, that kind of area, which is uh, less affluent. It will be mobile phones, Xboxes, 
and there seem to be a lot more um, dog um, pictures. They're usually library pictures of um, pit bull terriers and staffs and stuff like that. Whereas if they point in that direction towards Primrose Hill, Chihuahuas and uh, <laughs> so you've really seen dogs. It. Yeah, you do see a difference. Yeah. Sometimes though, the kind of cynical side of me thinks they feel a bit more like brainwashing machines, or or like that they've they've got some kind of sinister purpose. I think it's because they're alien things. They're they're things that I haven't bought into this house. They're outside my control, and they are delivering information to me like a TV set. You know, I wonder what they're trying to tell me sometimes. I mean, I'm not saying it's a nefarious purpose, but I've got a feeling that there's something to do with some kind of subliminal advertising, which I'm kind of uncomfortable with. But I like being uncomfortable as well, so that's interesting in itself. Seeing whether Because I've always been the kind of person that has sort of thought that they're not really susceptible to, to, to advertising. And I know what they're... I know what the underlying pretext is. What I'm hoping it isn't, but I feel it might have something to do with, is advertising on mobile phones because, you know, like mobiles aren't intrusive enough already. Um, so then I think they'd be fundamentally evil devices and I'd hate to feel that I was in any part responsible for them.